I don't think the plugs would work anymore. <laughs> I think I've looked at it. They're a little different looking. So I want to show you our EKG machine. This is from the 1930s. It actually belonged to a Rush Medical College alum. He graduated in 1924. So when he purchased it in 1932, he was one of the few physicians in the city who was capable of making diagnoses based on EKG readings. He purchased the machine for $1,800 and it was the first completely electric electrocardiograph in Chicago. And it's still the same basic concept today of um, detecting someone's heart rate and heart rhythm. When they first got one, they had one for the entire hospital. So obviously people had to come to the EKG machine. And then over the years, they got more and they became more compact. They had different kinds. They had some that were very portable to go by the bedside. It was very, very innovative at the time, for sure. So the reel would go here to, you know, spit out the heart beat. One of the first women to be an EKG technician at our hospital was Marie C. Barker, and she was the technician for the hospital from the 1920s and 1930s.